guys, how's it going? Having the best fourth day of this month? Well, I am, you know, uh, by uploading these videos, I'm learning so much because now I'm listening to it again and again and again. Yesterday, something happened and uh, I went to the store to buy something and they didn't have it. So I got a little mad first in my mind, then I took it out on the person who was in charge at the store. And I'm sure that person didn't like me. And uh, I don't know what they were thinking. So, do you get mad? Does it make you shout? Does it annoy you? Does it make you angry? Oh, yes, it does. So what do I do? Well, you want to get out ahead of the manifestation to be a better selecting sifter throughout the day. Because we all get these knee-jerk responses. And that's where the key is, the knee-jerk responses. I uh, don't want to make it too, lo uh, too long, so I really hope you enjoyed this audio. This is, I've been practicing it, but not really. But from now on, I'm very well aware what I need to do as I go out right now after uploading this video to go and get something that will I get mad. So uh, what I'm saying is like live with awareness. That is a very important word for me these days. Live with awareness. I really hope that you enjoy this uh, audio. Please listen to it and uh, comment, subscribe, especially comment. Let me know your thoughts in the audio. That's very, very important. But it's okay if you don't want to. <laughs> it's all up to you. All right. Enjoy and chill. And are you refreshed? Yes. Good. Now what? You've been talking to each other, haven't you? <laughs> On the aisle here. Thank you. I just want to say... Um, what a wonderful world I live in now. <laughs> I was introduced to a book by Esther three years ago, and since then I've had so much fun. Um, uh, as I get more comfortable in the higher vibrations, I find I have less tolerance <laughs> For the negative vibrations and so hmm. some of the things i'm still reacting to hmm. i want to try to learn to react instead of reacting to react more with unconditional love and i'm but, very but, happy to report that i'm doing good because now i recognize yeah. when i do things that are not from unconditional love Let's talk about that a little bit. Okay. Because if you have been practicing higher frequencies, you have. And so law of attraction is responding to those higher frequencies. Then more and more and more of your world is reflecting the good feeling. Yes? <laughs> yes. So you're saying that then contrast is more stark for you? That, in other words, so you're saying that the high frequencies are yielding you more wonderful experiences. Yes. But when you slip out of them, you crash and burn in a stronger no, way. No, I just notice them more. It's like things that used to feel very comfortable to me, like yelling at people in traffic, <laughs> don't feel comfortable to me anymore. And I find myself doing that. I'll be like, Shh, hang up your phone and drive. And I go, oh, that didn't come from a place of unconditional love, did it? <laughs> And so I'm, I, I feel like I've, you know, I feel like I'm, yay, but, but, I can recognize it at least. But the question that we have for you, and this speaks to what we are saying about getting your vibration out there ahead of you. Could you have rendezvoused with an experience <laughs> that makes you shout like that? Where were you when that happened vibrationally? That's really the question that we're asking. Yeah, I was, I was, I should have prepaid. So isn't it nice? So, it, but isn't it nice when the experience happens that lets you know yes. where your frequency is? In other words, don't you like your, your, you were already lighted up on that board and something that annoyed you couldn't have come to you if you were not, now you were not, maybe you weren't 
annoyed about that particular subject, but there was a vibration of annoyance going on within you. Okay. Probably other people who aren't doing what you think they should do, maybe not even in traffic. The, there was an active vibration within you that caused you to rendezvous with that. And then your subsequent knee-jerk reaction. So, so here's the big question that we have for you. Are you saying to us that you want to stop momentum at that point in other words so follow through with us because we know for sure that prior to the rendezvous with something that you didn't want to see or something that made you angry you were already pulsing there vibrationally otherwise it couldn't have come so the momentum was already underway so you, are you saying to us it is a manifestation point that I wish to stop the momentum this is so good it's at the manifestation point that I wish to stop the momentum. I'm going to use more willpower. I'm going to use more restraint. So and I have to the stop the momentum before I leave the you house. You want to get out ahead of the vibration. You okay. want to get out ahead of the manifestation. You want, you, you want to, and each day you try it, your world will unfold and it will keep showing you. It will show you again and again what your sticking points are, what your stalling out <laughs> points are, what your knee jerk reaction points are until before long, you see, we started to say before long, the universe will cooperate with you, but it already is. It's cooperating with the vibration that you got going all the time. And it's so easy to have the cooperative universe yielding to you exactly what you've got going on vibrationally. And then you yell at them. I know. <laughs> yes, I do. But the reason you're yelling at them is because you don't feel good and you're pinning it on something they're doing, but it was there before they did what they were doing. So to get out ahead of it, I'm just doing my, my yeah. meditation yeah. and my pre Go in general, and... make lists of positive okay. aspects, get your vibration where you want it to be. Get out ahead on it, ahead of it. Sometimes it means you got to get up before you get up. <laughs> well, that won't work. <laughs> Sometimes it means you, you, it might mean you want to set your tone before you go to sleep. Mm -hmm. It might mean that you want to lie in bed a little while and, and establish it before you get up. It might mean that you want to uh, be a better selective sifter through the day. There's all kinds of things that you can do, but we, and what you're doing is just fine. We just want to explain to you what comes first. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank and you. we thought it was the most wonderful discussion ever about not trying to stop the momentum at, at the manifestation point. Start the momentum. In fact, we don't even want you to stop momentum at all. Because when you decide that you're not going to think about that thing you're thinking about, you're thinking about it. And momentum is underway. There's a war against all kinds of things that are unwanted in an effort to obliterate them. And they just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. You cannot push against unwanted without lighting your board and becoming, having more ac personal access to it. So what you want to do is start the momentum about what you're wanting. But what's interesting with most of you, you have these big things that you want that you're sort of kind of maybe a little bit, maybe sort of kind of willing to think about a little bit more. <laughs> but the things that aren't high stake issues for you, in other words, it, you, you maybe don't feel like <laughs> cleaning up the traffic patterns around you, but you could. Right. You maybe, you maybe really don't. Esther was driving and Esther is an interesting driver because she's a sensitive driver. And when she's on the open road, she is a speed demon. When she is in traffic, she is very sensitive to everything that's going on around. And so she just sort of goes with the flow. And sometimes people who are riding with her are not are wondering why she doesn't just sort of step on it and get up there right behind it. But it's because she can sort of feel what's going on. And so she's just picking the best place to have the best possible experience. Could she go faster? Maybe. Could she fill in that gap before somebody else? Probably so. But it's not about that. Your movement through life is not about reacting to what others are doing. It's about you setting the tone and controlling the traffic patterns around yourself right the traffic patterns the vibrational patterns the conversational patterns it's about controlling right. the patterns around you because you are dominating the vibration it's about getting out ahead of it rather than being a react and a reactionary by offer of vibration be a centered offer and let 
You see, because whatever vibration is dominant, meaning not contradicted, is the dominant, is the vibration, dominant is a really good word, is the vibration that is going to set the tone for the cluster that is moving with you. Right. And I've been practicing on the big things. So I just need to learn to practice on the smaller things now that I'm sort there of. There are no big in. or small things. There are only things because. <laughs> important the, because things. There, there are, there may be things that are more important to you than others. But in terms of your ability to accomplish them, it is as easy for you to create a castle as a button. Right. The process is the same. You just got to focus on it without contradiction and the universal forces will bring it about for you. Period. Always. Ever. Thank you. Yeah.